For some women, her handbag can be the most expensive item in her wardrobe. And while that gorgeous handbag or tote may be great for carrying around all the things we need day to day, chances are it could be ruining your neck. To explain why, we are joined by our feel good physio, Anna Louise Bouvier. Welcome. Hi. This could be tragic. I know. It could be, but it is. It is, it is so, tragic. So many women I see in my clinic neck pain, headaches, all that kind of stuff it's their handbag. So no, no. what is the problem? What are we doing wrong? Well, this is Brenda, my skeleton. She's very Hi, disabled, Brenda. but she's, she's very good. She's lost her head and everything else. <laughs> what you can see here, there's actually this thing called a plexus, which is kind of a whole bunch of nerves that go down from your neck, down into here, down into your arm and down into your fingers. Ooh. And so you can sort of see almost immediately, if you think about the weight of so many of the handbags that most of us carry, what happens is it scrunches down mm -hmm. there, compresses there and you get pins and needles, neck pain, headaches, all that sort of stuff just from your bag being too heavy. Oh gosh, okay, I brought in a couple of mine. Okay, I know good. one is gonna be a disaster. Yeah. This is my travel bag. Yeah. So oh, it's God, usually sorry. really heavy and oh, I'm going just such a into disaster. state. So Tell me what's wrong. Just think about that. Those, those particularly those straps on there, like it just it's can create heavy. so many things. And especially when you think about the weight of it, like there's no good way to carry it. A big part of the problem is that, you know, if you think about what we carry these days, yes. say, compared to, you know, the Jacqueline. dainty little, exactly, that's right. I know, you just carry it around like this. Right? Exactly. And they just carry it, they used to carry it on their elbows too. Where did they put their water? <laughs> See, they didn't have water, they didn't have coffee, no phone, nothing, no oh store gosh. cards, nothing. <laughs> right? So I think that is a complete disaster. It's also because it's so soft. Yes. Often if you go for something, say, with this one, this is my work bag, but you can see it's quite structured. Okay. So you can see that if you've got something that actually holds its own structure a bit and has a slightly wider, thicker strap that's a bit padded, then that distributes the load a little bit on your neck. What are some tips on buying the perfect bag? Uh, it's really hard to buy the perfect bag. I think the main things are think about what you want to use it for. So if it's just sort of for getting around, then choose your small flat mm -hmm. bag long strap. But if it's for work or you know that you carry a lot of stuff, look for a thicker strap, look for something that's got a little bit of structure mm -hmm. um, that still looks gorgeous and um, and choose the right bag for the day. Okay. So, you know, and look, if you're travelling, I'm getting more and more prone to the cute bag and yes. the wheelie. The wheelie. Get the I wheelie. Okay. Go the wheelie. Thank you so much, <laughs> Anna Louise.